How to create a swipeable Tinder card in Flutter, where as you can swipe to the right side to like a user, to the left side for disliking the user, and you can swipe up for super liking the user in Flutter. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's start from scratch by building a Tinder card widget. And here I put the URL to the image inside, which is displayed in our card. And finally, we create a new Tinder card widget where we get first of all the URL. And this is what we want to display right now in our build method. Therefore, I create here a new build card method where I display first of all the image. So here we display then the URL image that we have defined before. As a result, we have here our first Tinder image card and we also want to make it rounded. Therefore, I wrap it here inside of a clip rect widget and set the border radius to 20. And with this, we have here at the top and also at the bottom these rounded corners. Next, we want to make it interactive by swiping the card to the left, to the top or to the right side. Therefore, let's go here to our cart and we want to put it inside of a new method build front cart and around our cart, we want to wrap then a gesture detector. And finally, with the help of this gesture detector, we can listen here to three gestures when we start our gesture, when we drag here around with the image and also if we stop the interaction of this gesture. In all of these cases, we get some gesture details and we want to put these details inside of a provider. So this is a state management which we want to use. So we get here the reference to our provider and then we simply redirect here the details into these methods start position, update position and end position. First of all, to make use of the provider, you need to go to your pubspec YAML file and here under your dependencies, you need to include the provider package. Secondly, we want to set up the provider in our main file. Therefore, we go to our material app and we wrap it inside of the change notifier provider. And with this, you can then define here a new card provider. So this is another class that I have created, which is extending this change notifier. And finally, within this provider, we want to create these three methods, start, update and end. So all in all, if we now tap here on our image and swipe it around, then we are going inside of these three methods. And we want to get started by saving here the position after we swipe here our image to other positions. Therefore, we go here inside of this update position method. So every time if we drag our image around, we are going here inside. And then we want to update here our position of the image with the details of our gesture detector. Also, after we have changed the position, then we want to update our UI. And finally, we want to make use of this position to change the position of our image. Therefore, we go here back to our Tinder card widget. And here we go then to our card and we wrap it inside of a builder. And we also use an animated container for doing later the position animation. For now, we will simply put the milliseconds to zero. So there is no animation right now. And lastly, inside of this animated container, you can then change the position of your card. Therefore, we use the transform property, whereas you can then translate here your image by the position of our provider. Therefore, let's get here simply the position from our card provider. So we access here this position. And with this, we can change here the position of our image. And then if we end with the interaction, we want to go back to the initial position of our image. Therefore, let's go to the card provider and here if we end with the interaction on the screen, then we simply want to reset our position of the image. So I put the position again to this offset zero. Let's also try it out so I can change here the position of the image. And if I end with the interaction, then he will always jump back to the initial position. Next, we want to smoothly animate back to the initial position instead of jumping back. Therefore, we create a new Boolean field, which determines if we are currently interacting with the screen or not. So inside of the start position, we put this flag then to true. And finally, if we end with the interaction, then we want to set this flag again to false. And back in our Tinder card widget, we can then make use of this dragging field. So if we are currently dragging, then we don't want to animate here our animated container. However, if we are not dragging, then we want to do here an animation. So basically, if we change here the position, then this will be animated by 400 milliseconds. 
As a result, if I now change the position and I stop the interaction, then you see we have here always a smooth animation back to the initial position. Next, we also want to rotate here our image in case we swipe to the right or to the left side. First of all, we want to get within our Tinder card init state method here the size of our screen. And we simply want to put the size of our screen inside of our card provider. So we create a new method set screen size where we put then this size inside. So let's go to our card provider and here inside we want to create a new field where we store our screen size and we also create here the setter where we set then our screen size. And now with the help of the screen size we can then determine here the rotation angle while we are dragging our image. Therefore let's start by creating in our card provider a new field angle. And every time if we drag our image around, then we go here inside of this update position method. And here we also want to update then our angle. So we divide our current X position of our image by the screen width. And this ratio we want to multiply with the maximum rotation angle that we want to have while we are dragging here our image around. And finally, next to setting the angle, we also want to reset it again in case we stop with the interaction. So all in all, we have determined the rotation angle of our image. And secondly, we also want to go to our Tinder card to make use of this angle. Therefore, we use the angle to rotate our image around the set axis. And for this to make work, you also need to make sure that you translate around the center position of your image. So let's also get here the center position by first of all getting here some constraints and therefore we want to change here our builder to this layout builder and with this we get the constraints that we use for determining the center position of our image. So all in all we have now determined the rotation of our image and lastly we want to make use of this rotated matrix instead of this matrix identity we put then our rotated matrix here inside and after this we also translate here the position of our image. And with this if I drag the image to the left side it is rotating to the left side and if we drag it to the right side then it is rotating to the right side. And finally, behind the rotated image card, we want to add then multiple other image cards. Therefore, we want to create in our card provider a new field with all the images of the cards. And we also want to initialize this image list inside of our constructor. So we create a new method reset users. And here we create then all the images and all the cards that we want to display. And lastly, we only need to display all of these images inside of our list. Therefore, we go back to the main file and here instead of creating one single Tinder card, we want to change it to a new method build cards. And with this, we get then from our provider here the images that we install then inside of a stack. So we place then all of the images on top of each other with the help of the stack widget. Right now, if I drag this image around, you see we have no images behind and this is because we drag all the images to this new position. To fix this, we want to add to our Tinder card a boolean field is front and with this we determine if it is right now the front image or the other images behind. Let's also go to our Tinder card and here we want to add then this boolean field. And lastly, we want to make use of this boolean field so if it is set to true, then we want to display here our front card with all the interaction. However, if it is not true, then we want to build a normal card and the normal card doesn't have all the interaction, it is simply the card with the image. As a result, if I drag here this image around, then you see we have behind it the other images. Next, if we drag an image, then we also want to remove it from the image stack and show here the next image on the stack. And secondly, we also want to determine if we have disliked, liked, or even if we have given it a super like our image. Let's start by defining an enum with the card status. So if we are liking, disliking, or super liking our image. And secondly, we want to detect this card status if we end with the interaction inside of this end position method. So if we drag here our image around and then we stop with the interaction, 
then the animation should do the remaining part and animate our image outside of our view. And because of this, we want to make sure that we set here this is dragging field to false. And with this, we can immediately start the animation. And lastly, we want to determine then the status of our card. So we create a new method get status. And depending on the X coordinate, we want to determine if we have dragged to the left or to the right side. So in this case, if we have moved our image more than 100 pixels to the right side, then it means that we want to like this image. And therefore we want to do now an animation to the right side. So here we get our status. And depending on this status, we want to animate then our image. For this, we create a new method like, and here we change then the angle and also the position. So here we simply change the position to the right side. And with this, if I drag here to the right side and then end with the interaction, you will see he is doing an animation to the right side by half the screen width. As you can see, our image is still visible on the screen. Therefore, we want to increase here this offset. So I put it here to two times the screen width. As a result, if I drag more than 100 pixels to the right side, then he is doing this animation. The problem right now is I cannot interact here with this next image. Therefore, we also need to remove this image that we have dragged away from the screen. Therefore, let's create here a new method next card. And inside of this method, we simply want to remove then the last image from our stack. And I also wait here some time because we need to wait until the animation is finished and then we want to remove the image. And with this, we can drag here all of our images to the right side and he will do the animation for us. Next, we want to drag also to the left side for disliking this image or we want to drag up for super liking this image. Before we do this, we want to go back to our end position method and we simply want to print the status on our screen. Therefore, we take the Flutter Toast package to display here the status on our screen. As a result, if I drag the image to the right side, then you'll see here the Toast message like. And finally, we also want to implement here the other cases. So we want to add the dislike and super like functionalities inside of two methods, dislike and super like. Before we implement the methods, we also need to make sure that we get here the status. So we go to our get status methods and here inside we want to determine then the other directions. So if we change here our image by 100 pixels to the left side, then we dislike our image. And if we swipe our image by 50 pixels up, then we want to super like our image. Since you also can drag your image on the X and Y coordinate, therefore we also want to implement here a special case for this case. Therefore I add here the for super like and here we make simply sure that the X coordinate is not greater than 20 in pixels. And with this, we make sure that if we drag up, then we have a super like and we can maximum drag to the right by 20 pixels or to the left by 20 pixels. However, if we drag further, then we have a like or dislike instead. And next, we also want to implement then the dislike and also the super like methods. And here, like before, you can define the angle and also the position while you are animating. So in this case, we want to animate then to the top. So I subtract here by this offset. And for the other case that we have a dislike, then we subtract the position by the screen width. Let's also try it out. So I can drag to the right side for a like, I can drag to the left side for a dislike. And if I drag up, then we have the super like. And finally, after we have swiped here through the images, then our screen is here blank because we have no images anymore. Therefore, if this URL images list is empty, then we simply want to display here a button inside of the center. And if we press on this button, then we want to call the method reset users inside of our card provider. And with this, we reset here all of the images. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.